Hi everyone, today's video will examine various FLV players. FLV is a part of the Flash platform, and as such, compatibility with this format is uncommon in media software. But there are players out there that can handle FLV, and they're pretty good. Let's start by looking at the format itself. As I've mentioned, FLVs are Flash videos, they are encoded with VP6 or H.264 and contained in a Flash wrapper. The format's purpose was to create embeddable video that can be played directly on a web page. Nowadays, better means of video embedding exist. Putting an MP4 on an internet page is no longer a problem. FLV became deprecated along with the rest of Flash, because, to be frank, the platform was slow and bulky. But FLV is still supported by a variety of players, and the best one is certainly L Media Player. It's one of the few commercial players that's fully compatible with Flash. L Media is popular for a reason, the UI is great, and there are tons of features. Just look at all these playback controls, this video tuner, and the audio equalizer. It's top notch. And I haven't even mentioned bookmarks, playlist exporting, and the countless settings. And yet, it's all well organized, and it's easy to find whatever you need. L Media Player can be found on its official website and app store, links in the description. Once you install L Media, it's easy to use, try dragging and dropping media files over its window. You can also use the file open dialog, but it's more of a fallback option. And, really, you should just make it your default player by right-clicking an FLV file, choosing Open With, then Other, and ticking the Always Open With box. L Media Player Pro offers even more features than the basic version, but its most prominent feature is streaming. It can be accessed with the AirPlay icon in the bottom right. But L Media is also compatible with DLNA and Chromecast. Two clicks is all it takes to start streaming your media directly to a smart TV or an HDMI dongle. Plus, L Media Player Pro transcodes most formats to make them compatible with streaming. 5K Player can play FLV and it's a popular option. However, it's also a shady freeware app. Far be it from me to judge, but I wouldn't put 5K Player on my main system. However, it offers numerous features in a convenient package, and the user interface is very original, relying on right-click menus for video and audio effects. Overall, feel free to try this one, but it's a niche app and the risks are great. VLC is a totally free, open-source FLV player, and it's pretty safe. It opens FLV and has a lot in store. The amount of features and settings in VLC will surprise you, but that doesn't mean that they'll be ergonomic. The interface is cluttered, and finding the things you need can be impossible. This player will force you to use Google time after time, especially if you need to use the converter or other advanced functions. And finally, here's my opinion on Sysdem. It's free and safe, but can't really do much. No equalizer, no video effects, only the bare minimum. That being said, it does play FLV. There's a playlist and standard playback controls, and also a premium-only conversion feature, but that's really not that useful. Sysdem would be a good starting point if there weren't other, superior free options. Conclusion After considering the popular FLV players, I came to the conclusion that L Media Player is the best one. It simply offers more customization, it's more reliable and safe. If I was going for FOSS, VLC would be my primary choice, but I'm more interested in choosing the best app, so L Media it is. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have something to say about the video. Bye.